The Romans did it first, but Instagram made it famous. Dive into the scandalous, sassy, and totally not safe for work history of the bikini. Bikinis. They're splashed across the golden sands of Copacabana, sizzling on the glossy pages of Vogue, even peeking from your Instagram feed. They're the tiny titans of fashion, a tantalizing tandem of fabric that screams summer like nothing else. Worn as a bold statement of personal style, a revolutionary symbol of liberation, they've earned their stripes as the indisputable queen of the beachwear. But wait, ever found yourself caught in the riptide of curiosity? pondering how these audacious apparels went from sketch to sand. Well, loosen those bikini straps because we're about to go topless into the irresistible tale of the bikini's journey from scandal to staple. You're on Curiosity Corner. The story of the bikini is a fascinating journey intertwined with the threads of fashion, societal norms, and women's rights. It's a tale that involves more than just the transformation of a garment. It's a reflection of shifting societal attitudes towards the female body and the evolution of women's liberation. As we dive into the past, we encounter surprising facts, challenging moments, and influential figures who played a significant role in the evolution of bathing suits. So, are you ready to take the plunge? How did we get from full body bathing suits to the bikini we know today? Does the bikini's history reveal more than just skin? Did you know that bathing attire has roots dating back to ancient civilizations? Imagine, if you will, the Romans lounging around their grand bathhouses. Bathing was more than just a hygiene routine, it was a significant social event. However, the bathing attire vastly differed from what we're accustomed to. Roman frescoes show women wearing bandeau-like tops and briefs, not too different from the modern bikini. Interestingly, the Villa Romana de Casal mosaics in Sicily depict Roman women engaging in sports while wearing a two-piece costume strikingly similar to the modern bikini. This ancient depiction gives us a glimpse into how comfortable these women were in their skin and bodies, a comfort that oscillates throughout history. The Middle Ages saw a sharp turn. Public nudity began to be condemned, and modesty took a stronghold. As we step into the shadows of these changing societal norms, we'll cover the forces that shaped the standards of the time. Could societal and religious norms have conspired to take us from relative body freedom to the full coverage of Victorian bathing suits? As we progress, the 19th century marks a restrictive era in bathing suit history. Think full body bathing suits, heavy fabrics, and absolutely no display of the figure underneath. Victorian societal norms were focused on modesty and decency, with bathing suits designed to ensure women did not display too much of their form. Even at the beach, women were expected to be covered from neck to ankles, with bathing machines used to preserve their modesty. Annette Kellerman, an Australian swimmer already in the 1900s, was arrested in 1907 for wearing a form-fitting one-piece swimsuit that showed her arms, legs, and neck on a Boston beach. It was deemed too revealing. Kellerman's experience speaks volumes about the rigidity of societal norms during that time. The famous quote by Amelia Bloomer rings clear in our ears. The costume of women should be suited to her wants and necessities. But was the Victorian bathing suit suited to women's wants, or was it a symbol of societal control? How did we transition from these bathing gowns to more revealing swimwear? In the early 1900s, things began to change for bathing suits. The invention of new, stretchy fabrics made it possible for swimwear to become more form-fitting and functional. However, it was the 1930s that marked a pivotal point in bathing suit history. In 1915, the famous Jensba rib stitch elastic fabric was introduced, which allowed bathing suits to become more fitted and flexible. This was a game changer in the swimwear industry. Suddenly, swimwear became not just about covering oneself, but about style and movement as well. The well-known designer Coco Chanel played a significant role during this period, popularizing sun tanning and prompting swimsuits to reveal more skin. She once said, Fashion is not something that exists in dresses only. Fashion is in the sky, in the street. Fashion has to do with ideas, the way we live, what is happening. 
But how did these fashion ideas help usher in the era of the bikini? And who was daring enough to take swimwear to the next level? 1946 marked a watershed moment in the history of swimwear. Enter the bikini, a creation of French engineer Louis Riard, who dared to challenge the norms of modesty. He designed a garment so small that he daringly named the bikini after the Bikini Atoll, where atomic bomb testing had taken place. His daring design was considered too scandalous by many models of the time. Only Michelin Bernardini, a dancer, was audacious enough to debut it. Riard himself claimed, a bikini is not a bikini unless it can be pulled through a wedding ring. A few decades later, in 1964, fashion designer Rudy Gingrich introduced the Monokini, a topless one-piece bathing suit, which he described as a symbol of liberation. The Monokini became a symbol of the sexual revolution of the 1960s. So, how was this audacious piece revealed by the world? So fresh out of the modest era? How did the monokini stir controversy? And what catalyzed the transition from shock and scandal to widespread acceptance? The 1960s marked the era when the bikini indeed became a symbol. It was a time when societal norms were being questioned and redefined. Hollywood started embracing the bikini, with stars like Marilyn Monroe and Brigitte Bardot becoming iconic figures sporting the bikini. Bardot famously made headlines with her bikini scenes in Naughty Girl. A significant impact was also made by Ursula Andress in the James Bond film Dr. No, with her iconic emergence from the sea in a white bikini, a scene etched in the annals of pop culture history. In the 1980s and 90s, the red one-piece swimsuit worn by Pamela Anderson on Baywatch became a symbol. It was tight, high cut, and highly provocative for the time. Baywatch's popularity brought this bold swimsuit into millions of living rooms around the world further challenging the norms of what was considered acceptable on-screen swimwear. From here, the journey of the bikini and bathing suits takes us through an exciting curve. How did the popular culture influence the perception and acceptance of the bikini? And did this symbolism carry forward into the 21st century? Pop culture has always played a pivotal role in shaping fashion trends, including swimwear. The bikini and other bathing suits have entered Hollywood films, music videos, and even the concert stage. Artists like Beyonce and Rihanna have incorporated swimwear into their stage outfits, creating a buzz around unique bikini styles. Hollywood films from Charlie's Angels to Tomb Raider have seen their lead actresses flaunt their bodies in stylish bikinis, turning them into fashion statements. The music video of Katy Perry's California Girls also showcased colorful and imaginative bikini styles, further fueling the popularity of these beachwear items. So, how has popular culture's influence shifted swimwear trends over time? And how has the digital era shaped the bikini and bathing suits? Fast forward to the 21st century, and we see a vast array of bikini and bathing suit styles catering to every shape, size, and preference. From high-waisted vintage designs to barely there string bikinis, the variety is endless. It's clear today the bikini is much more than just a garment. It has become a form of self-expression, a statement of body positivity, and a celebration of diversity. The rise of social media platforms, notably Instagram, has seen exponential growth in Insta-famous bikini brands. These platforms have also played a significant role in promoting diverse body types, encouraging women around the world to embrace their bodies as they are. The hashtag bikini on Instagram garners hundreds of millions of posts, a testament to its wide-reaching influence. So, where is the future of swimwear headed? How will technological advancements such as smart textiles and sustainable materials influence the future designs of bathing suits? And will the bikini continue to evolve as an emblem of body positivity and female empowerment? We still don't have all the answers, but we know you will love this next video if you tap on it to continue your learning journey. Remember to check our links in the description. And until next time, stay curious, my friends.